there. Welcome to my new channel, Simple Gardening, and my name is Sue. I am so excited to bring this channel to you guys because, believe me, I need simple gardening, and I'm sure so many of you do too. I am, I don't want to say a beginner gardener because I have gardened for quite a few years, but I am pretty simple at it. I'm kind of lazy at it, kind of, sort of. And as my life gets busier and busier and busier, I need as simple as possible for my garden. I am a full-time career woman and I am a part-time student, but I love to garden and I love to grow produce to be able to eat during the harvest season. And I love to be able to bring all of that goodness to my family. So I am working on trying to figure out different techniques and different tips that I can find to make my gardening more simple so it's easier to maintain. Are you with me? I hope so because I am so excited to start this channel to be able to bring you those techniques and tips and everything that I've learned to be able to teach you as well. So a little story. Um, it's in the middle of February in Wisconsin. means it is cold, it is snowy, and there is absolutely nothing that I can do outside in my garden. So what can I do? So a little backstory about me and how I got to this, my home in Wisconsin. I've lived in Wisconsin my whole entire life, so I haven't gotten very far, believe me. But my husband and I did move to our own new home um, about a year and a half ago in Southwest Wisconsin. We were so excited. I was so excited that I was gonna have a yard, a yard to, for my garden. I'm so excited. So I started a garden last year. We didn't, we had, we just decided to have a traditional row garden. Well, yeah, it didn't work out very well. No, mm -mm. my summer became so busy that my garden totally looked awful, 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 awful. There were weeds, there were thistles, and if whoever walked by thought, probably thought, oh gosh, what, what on earth are they creating there? A weed garden? Because that's what it looked like, a weed garden. And I hated it. But on a side note, I did get a little bit of produce out of it. I got some tomatoes. I got some cucumbers. I got some broccoli. I got some beans. But that's about it. I got a few carrots, but not that much. But I know that if I would have been able to weed more, which is not a fun job. I hate that job. Worst job ever. Um, if I would have been able to go out there and weed and get the thistles out and get everything cleaned up, I would have so much better um, produce coming out of my garden, which, yeah, it was my fault, I know. So I have been dreaming of my garden for 2020 and I have all these aspirations and hopes and dreams and all this stuff. But the best, most thing, the best thing that I could come up with is something simple, 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 simple. I am very simple. I liked instant gratification. And if I have to go out there and I have to weed all the time, it's probably not gonna happen because the summers in here in Wisconsin, it could be cold. It could be hotter than blazes. It could be perfect, but we'll, we never, never know. So when it's real, way too hot, forget it. I'm not gonna get out there and do anything that I don't wanna do. So, I am on a mission to find tips and techniques and everything about how I can simplize my garden. And I want to be able to bring those tips and tricks to you as my audience, because I know I'm not the only one out there that needs simple, okay? So 
the first phase of my planning is dreaming because really what else is there to do in the middle of February in Wisconsin? Nothing, nothing at all. So all I've been doing is reading, reading books, seed catalogs. I've been on Pinterest. I've been on YouTube. I have been uh, listening to podcasts. I have, I have done it all. And I'm hoping I'm coming up with some great ideas because I'm really excited to get started on my garden. As long as my ideas and what I'm finding out there works, I'm gonna have a fantastic garden and I am so, so, so excited. So I hope you're with me on this journey. But with my first part of my planning is actually dreaming, here's what I've been dreaming about. your turn you need to comment below and tell me what you guys are dreaming about and about your 2020 vision of your garden is there a tips and tricks that you know work that could help me is there something some dream that you're like oh my gosh i think sue will love this hey leave it below i am up for anything i will take any ideas any suggestions to make my garden in 2020, the best garden that I've ever, ever had. I don't want thistles and weeds in my garden this year. No, no, not at all. So your homework is to leave those comments below and tell me what you are dreaming about in 2020 for your garden. Um, in the upcoming videos, um, I am going to really detail uh, my videos towards those dreams um, and where I'm getting these ideas, what I'm hoping for with my ideas for my garden. And I hope that gives you some inspiration for your garden this year because, hey, it's a new year and we might as well give it a shot, right? Before you get to off of this channel, please subscribe to it. Please hit the like button and so you can get those notifications and please come back and watch my ideas come to life, okay? Sounds fantastic. Thank you everybody for watching and I will see you next time.